Hello, ma'am. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You're speaking with USA Fox. Welcome to the channel. I'm here to give a voice to the voiceless. May I have your name? Jennifer. Okay, Jen. Where are you from? Camden. All right. How old are you, Jen? 36. What was it like growing up out Camden? Rough. It's been a struggle. Mm-hmm. It's dangerous out there. Mm. By the way, we're in Woodbury, New Jersey right now. Yes. Nice suburban area. <coughs> so you say you grew up out there, right? Yes. Were you raised in a single household or both parents? Uh, single. And was it rough growing up or did your parents do a good job? Uh, it was rough growing up my whole life. Your whole life? Are you currently dealing with any drug addiction? Yes. And what's your drug of choice? Heroin and cocaine. How often are you using the substance? Daily. How many times a day would you say? Anywhere from one to ten times a day. Hmm. <clears throat> Have you attempted at uh, getting off the substance at all? Yes. <clears throat> How much clean time do you have? Right now, none, but I've had four years at one point. I've had a year and a half at one point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you currently homeless? Yes. What's it like being homeless, and how long have you been homeless for? Recently, it's been about almost two years. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not easy. It's hard to find a place to lay your head where you're safe or your stuff isn't going to get stolen while you're asleep, even your shoes off your feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's a good day like for you? Mm -hmm. That's hard to say. Uh, I mean, making money basically and just surviving, getting food. Everything's a struggle. How are you managing to make money out here? I panhandle. <laughs> How much would you say you make daily off of panhandling? Anywhere from ten to to fifty dollars a day. Is it easy panhandling? No. It depends on the area, really. Well, what area? What area would you say is like preferably the best area to panhandle? Probably around here. We come here a lot just to panhandle. Is that something you do daily? Yes. <clears throat> what does what type of effects does it do the substance have on you when you use? Um it's euphoric and takes you away from reality for a little bit. I mean that's the good effects. It has terrible effects on your body though. <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you intake your substance? Smoke it. Okay. And you said it has terrible effects on your body. Have you had to go to uh, the hospital for any? Yes. Infections uh, many a times. Yeah. <coughs> Do you see yourself beating this addiction? Um, with addiction, I feel like one way or another for the rest of my life, I'll have an addiction, whether it's drugs or money or even coffee, sugar, anything. I do believe addiction sticks with you for life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that's the, your boyfriend uh, beside you? Yes. How long have you guys been together for? Uh, three years. Three years. Going on four. Did you guys meet on the streets of Camden? Do we what? Did you guys meet on the streets of Camden? No. No. We actually met in sober living houses. Okay, okay. <clears throat> right, right. <clears throat> what was that like? Have like meeting, you know, meeting your boyfriend in sober living. Uh, it was interesting. It was good though. But, uh, <coughs> Were you guys getting like clean together, going through the uh, program yes. together somewhat? Yes, we were. That's good. Okay, what's it like on the streets of Camden together? Do anybody ever try to, you know, uh, you know how it is out there? It's bad. Yes, and I feel like people don't Dangerous. like to see like you happy or doing good or even being a couple people mm -hmm. hate 
just that. Like, a lot of the time, they just want to rip you apart. Anything just to make you miserable. <laughs> now, you got any family out there in Camden? I don't. No? Not, not no support or nothing? No. Sorry to hear that. You have any kids at all? I do. You do? Yes. I actually just had a baby September 12th. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Uh, is he currently with family or? Yes. Okay, His that's mom. Good. That's good. Is that your only, uh, your only kid? No. We have another daughter together, and then we each have two kids separate from someone else. All right, y'all got to get back to them babies now. Yes. We'll raise them babies. <clears throat> What's it like, like your relationship with your kids? Uh, well, we don't really have much of a relationship with our kids right now. But when we were with them, it was good. Mm -hmm. Is that Does it motivate you to get clean again? You did it before. Yes. When, what gave you motivation last time? My kids and uh, I'm not going to lie, the law. The law, you had got arrested yes. or? Went to jail and then from there went to rehab and then sober living. If you don't mind me asking, what did they arrest you for? Shoplifting. Shoplifting? Oh, okay. All right. And in that time span, you was able to, of course, get sober in jail and you came home and, you know, what made you relapse? Um, you uh, you went to sober living after that? Yes. Yeah. Things were rough. It was hard getting a job with my background, um, just paying the rent, everything. It was just everything caught up to me. And I guess addiction felt easier at the time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't now, though. <laughs> How would you do things different for next time? Just stay strong. You know, you got to definitely mentally... Uh, NA meetings, all that. Got to work the, the program. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. What's the craziest thing you've seen out there on the streets of Camden, New Jersey? Or witnessed? Honestly, uh, I found um, a, a guy dead, um, naked from the waist down. Mm. Yeah, it was, yeah, disturbing. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to. Wow, yeah. it's crazy out there. I know it was like that out there. I, I keep yeah. hearing stories like that. Yeah, and, it's and bad. It, it blows my mind to think that little old Camden, New Jersey, small little city, yep. not as big as Philly, of course, is really that hectic. Yes, it is. Would you say you've become uh, pretty much used to that environment? Like, used to, like, living this way? Yes. What do you miss the most about your life before the drugs? Not struggling day to day just to eat and sleep, all that. It's horrible finding somewhere to sleep without worrying. If you can make three wishes right now, what would they be? To get clean, get a job, and get my kids. I love those wishes. I love them. Good wishes. <clears throat> Where do you see yourself in the next six months? Hopefully in rehab. Okay. Good. Last question. What would you tell the youth out here ripping and running the streets following in your same footsteps? What, what advice would you give them? Go get help. It's, it's too dangerous out here. This world is not it's just getting worse and worse. And yeah, these streets are they're rough. I'd like to thank you for your time. You've been a wonderful interviewee for me. God bless you. I'm going to be praying for you. Thank you. God bless you. Are, are you religious at all? Uh, yes. yes. You believe in God? Yes. God bless you. You're going to make it up out of this. Thank you. Hi, guys. USA Fox here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.